Hello, I'm Mark Rossner. I'm a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco Server Products Group. I just want to look at one single slide, introducing the UCSM series of virtual local storage feature, and introducing the new elements that we'll look at in UCS Manager that are used to manage this feature. Then I'll jump straight to the live demo of UCS Manager and show you how to set this all up. This is the UCS M series chassis. The current model contains four solid state drives and an LSI RAID controller. These are shared resources for all servers in this chassis. The beauty part is that it's modular. You don't need to over provision local disk storage in the individual servers. Here's a service profile. This service profile contains a UCS Manager storage profile that consists of a list of one or more virtual local drives that will be presented to the server. Each individual virtual local drive has its own size, 100 gigabytes in this example, and UCS Manager RAID group policy. The RAID group policy specifies the RAID group details, like the RAID level, RAID 1 mirror in this example, and a few other details that we'll look at in the live demo. Note that so far in this animation, the service profile has been created, but it's not yet associated with a physical server. No RAID group has actually yet been created over here on the chassis, nor has virtual storage been carved out for the virtual drive. Why is that? Well, until the service profile is associated, we don't even know which chassis the server will be in. So nothing can take place in any particular chassis until association time. Now we see the service profile being associated. At that time, the RAID 1 RAID group is created on the chassis and the specified 100 gigabyte virtual LUN is carved out. Here's a second service profile created from a different template that has a different storage profile. It still specifies one virtual disk but it's a different size, 200 gigabytes in this example, and a different RAID group policy. As this service profile is associated, a different RAID group is created on the chassis for the new virtual drive. What if there were another service profile that specified yet a third different RAID group policy with a different RAID level, and it also wanted to get associated with a server in this same chassis? At that time, at association time, you would have a config error because there's no more disks available in the chassis to create a new RAID group. There can't be any failure until the service profile is associated because once again, you don't know which chassis we're talking about until then. Here's a third service profile. Since it comes from the same template as the first service profile, it has to specify the same storage profile as the first service profile. And the disk specified has to be the same size and has to specify the same RAID group policy. Now, when this gets associated with yet another server in the same chassis, assuming there's still space in this RAID group over here on the chassis, the new virtual disk for the new service profile will just share space in the same chassis RAID group. Here's a final service profile, and it's a different template this time. Since it wants a different size disk, it has to have a different storage profile. But it specifies the same RAID group policy as these other two service profiles. So when this one is associated with a server still in the same chassis, it's a virtual disk can also share space in the same RAID group. So here I am in UCS Manager. My physical equipment consists of the two fabric interconnects and I have two UCS M series chassis, each with a full set of cartridges and up to two servers per cartridge. I'm going to go straight to this new storage tab, which is where I'll find the RAID group or disk group policies and storage profiles. So let's look at the disk group policies or RAID group policies first. Once again, you have to have these because each disk that you specify in the storage profile will have to refer to a specific policy down here. Let's create a new one that has a name just call it mirror policy and its RAID level is obviously important. RAID 1 mirrored. Of all these other details, just to go through quickly, disk group configuration automatic means 
let the system choose which specific disks you're talking about. Number of drives would let the system choose how many drives, but let's just specifically say two drives for this mirrored group. Most of the other stuff we can just leave unspecified or at the platform default. The only other little detail policy that's associated with this disk group or RAID group policy down here that I want to look at where I know the platform default is not the best practice is the right cache policy. And I know that the platform default is right through and not right back. And most people expect that an LSI RAID controller will be able to do right back for much better performance. So we do presumably have a good battery backup unit. And I'll change the policy to right back with a good battery backup unit for this disk group policy. And then I'll go up to storage profiles up here and I'll create a new storage profile that refers to my new policy and storage profile will have a name. Let's just say one boot disk and specify one or more disks. Each disk here has a name. Let's just call this boot disk. Once service profiles actually get associated with servers, then it will use this boot disk as a base name by default for a UCS reference name for each individual drive that gets created as a result of having this storage profile. So the size is important for this disk. The disk group configuration means the disk group policy or the RAID group policy. And let's just point to our new mirror policy down here. The rest of these details, the lowest available, well, since this is the first disk that we're creating for this profile, it'll be the first lowest one that's presented uh, to the server. Auto deploy here means I won't have to do a separate UCS manager step to actually enable the virtual local disk after the service profile is associated. So let me just click OK here. Let me click OK there, and then I'm done. Click OK again with the storage profile. And I don't have anything more to show on this new storage tab. The only other thing I wanted to show in this demo is creating a service profile template. Since I like to do everything through service profile templates and not directly create service profiles, we'll do it this way. Create a new service profile template. The only other thing I really wanted to point out here, and we'll pretty much skip ahead and skip all these parts of the service profile that are identical to the B series. So I'm just skipping by networking for right now. I do want to show you why I'm skipping by this storage pane. This local storage in the storage pane that we're used to for B series refers to real local disks, not the virtual local disk feature. So we don't have any real local disks, so that will be ignored. I'll just move by and do no VHBAs for now, and then go to the pane that I wanted to show you where I choose which storage profile is used for service profiles that will be created from this template. And I'll pick the specific storage profile that I created on the other tab, one boot disk, that shows me that when a service profile will get created from this template and it gets associated, then this virtual drive size 50 gig will get carved out using the RAID group policy that I had chosen for RAID 1 mirroring. For this service profile, I just wanted to finish up now because there's nothing else on any of these other panes that's any different from B series. There is some stuff that you'd have to get right, like the server boot order, but I just wanted to focus on this feature right now. So let me finish. And let me take my template that I just created and instantiate a single service profile from that template just to take a look at what a service profile that's not yet associated with a server will look like with regards to this new virtual local disk feature. Let me go to my new service profile and specifically look at storage. And specifically, there's a new tab over here that says LUN configuration. Notice it says that this service profile will have a LUN. It will have a UCS reference base name of boot disk B50 gig RAID 1, but it says config state not applied yet. 
this 50 gig line hasn't actually been carved out of the chassis storage yet because we don't even know which chassis we're talking about. Now I'm going to associate the service profile with a particular server in a particular chassis. So let me just pick one sort of at random, it doesn't matter, chassis number two. In UCSM series, notice how fast association takes place. This is real time and it's done already. I want to conclude by looking back at the storage pane of this service profile now that it is associated. And notice now the actual virtual disk is online. It is carved out of the physical storage of the chassis of the server. Where it was associated, the configuration state is applied. And I'm ready to boot this server and install an OS on this virtual local disk. Thank you for watching.